Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, first, I just want to apologize for not being able to make it to class today. Um, as you've read from the email, my family came down with COVID last week. Um, and as a result, we are finishing up our quarantining today, um, testing again tomorrow, um, which also may lead to a problem for our class on Wednesday because I need it to be a CUNY test that takes about 24 hours and I won't be able to go to tomorrow. So I will keep you posted, but I do not expect us to have in-person class together on Wednesday, which is why I wanted to take the time to record this video to go over the ins and outs of Project 6, which, as I've been mentioning pretty much every single class, this is a really easy project. As long as you can find the time, um, and by time I mean undistracted time, not sitting and playing games, not watching TV, not eating dinner, but sitting with some mellow music on, um, or no music or TV and getting it done. I would honestly say between writing and proofing and editing, maybe half hour, hour tops, maybe an hour and a half if you really, really just want to get into it and you're, you know, you're grooving with it. But um, I don't want to turn this into a very long thing. If I'm not on, in on Wednesday, I'll record another lecture little thing, but this is really just focused on explaining to you where you can find Project 6, what Project 6 is, what I'm expecting, its due dates, and, and all that stuff. Pretty much, not pretty much, exactly like we've been doing for all the other projects, um, one through five, you know. So if you go to your Blackboard page and you check under Project, you will see Project 6. You will see the full write-up, the assignment, all that fun, fun stuff. So what I want to do is go over the assignment right now. Um, so I'm going to try and share my screen. If for whatever reason, uh, I think it's sharing. And when you watch this video, it's not sharing. Um, please just get the prompt up and follow along. Uh, Cause you know, like I normally do, I'll read and explain and go over what, you know, really it is that I'm uh, expecting. All right, so let's, let's open this up, shall we? All right, so um, project six, that should not say 16, excuse me, project six. Imagine us doing that many projects. Let me try and also make this a little bit bigger for everybody. Project six is unlike any project we've done before. Um, the one that would be most closely associated with the project one, because it's not presenting an argument. It's not really focused on one thing. It, is a bit all over the place. It is a bit informal. And that's really what this is. The most informal piece of writing that we've coming across this semester. And informal writing just means like you're talking either to yourself or you're talking to a friend or you're talking to somebody who you feel like as a peer very, very comfortable with using slang, shorter sentences, um, whatever the case might be. Um, so like projects one, two, three, Four, uh, this is 15% of your grade. Project five, that's 25%. This one's 15. Um, and it is due absolutely no later than the uh, 11.59 p.m. on the 21st of December. Uh, why have I chosen that date? Um, well, because that is the literal last minute of the semester. Um, I don't want to be uh, chasing you guys and gals down um, a week, two, three weeks after class, days after class. I want to focus on grading and I want to get your grade submitted to the office. Um, so anything after that time probably won't get re re excuse me, probably won't be read, will not be graded and will be uh, in some respects a waste of your time. So this is a reflective essay. So reflective writing is a key vehicle for strengthening our learning power. It helps to connect our cognitive, logical thinking with how it feels, acts. So learning comes about the whole, um, the whole of who we are and not just a split of a part. So this is a reflecting writing essay and reflective writing or reflections, you know, because you don't always have to write to reflect. Ref the point of reflections is to try to get a better understanding of not what you've done, but why you've done it, how you did it how you'll do it moving forward, your regrets, your successes, your weakness. Reflective writing asks you to think about what you've done, to ask the who, the what, the when, the where, the why, to the actions or the inactions, better yet. You know, you chose not to do something. That's an inaction. Can you reflect? Can you think about why that was the case? What were you thinking? What were you feeling? 
What made you do that? Why did, how did it make you feel? Would you do it again moving forward? So these questions that we ask, like, they might seem very matter of fact on the surface, um, but when we start to really think about it and to start to thinking about it in depth with clarity and really with our, our heart and our minds and our souls, um, we do get stuff out of reflective writing. Um, this project is about trying to understand how we feel, what we've learned, and how we can improve in the future. I mean, again, I guess really that is the goal of reflective writing, to be better. Um, in any in any respect, you know, we could reflect on being a parent or reflect on being a brother or reflect on being a student um, and what we go through and how we can be better. So, again, that's really what this project's about, because next semester you have a lot more writing to do and the semester following and so on and so forth until you're done with school. And for many of you, you'll be writing um, in your professions, maybe not full time like a writer, but through emails or proposals or whatever the case might be. Um, this project is the most everyday type of work of all the projects we have done this semester. In other words, you are writing what amount um, you are writing what amounts to a diary or a journal entry. Your writing is very personal and I expect you to say me and I quite frequently. Okay, well, maybe not every sentence, but you know, pretty frequently throughout. Okay, there's that. Uh, reflective writing is all about what goes into our head as we think about the challenges we encounter and the growth we'd like to see in ourselves. Reflective writing is asking the why of what happened. Below, I'm highlighting several questions which you can use as a means to write this project. If you feel the need to write more, that's fine. Other questions that are related, that's fine as well. Um, but I have 10, so there's more than enough to get you through the the page mark that I'll be asking for. You can take one of the questions and write a paragraph about it, whether large or small. The only thing I'm looking for with your paragraphs is that they are developed and thought out, meaning that you're not just making very general and broad statements. I'm looking for depth, I'm looking for insight, and I'm uh, and depth and insight into your writing process, which means I'm looking for examples. If you're gonna say you had this as a challenge, like, okay, what about it? Was there an article? Was there this? Was there that? Like, I'm, I'm asking for specific examples. Feel free to answer any of these questions, um, but of all of them, I, I would really appreciate you answering number 10, um, which is a reflection on the class and, you know, pretty much me, uh, so that I'm teaching 151 next semester and I'd like to try and do a better job each semester. I reflect on it and try and do a better job. Um, so the questions like, what were your biggest challenges writing and researching? Uh, what were your biggest successes? Uh, what are the things you need to work on for next semester to become a better writer, thinker, researcher? Are you ready to write more research and argumentative papers? Uh, what's your biggest regrets this semester in terms of the writing process? What do you think you'll do when you write your next paper? Maybe start thinking about your writing process. Uh, how do you think you'll use databases and libraries moving forward? Uh, what is the most important thing you've learned this semester and why? Um, what could I do better? Um, so these are the questions. And again, you don't need to answer all 10 of them. Feel free to. But I would say if you answer like five or six of them, that can comfortably get you to the page limit that I'm asking for. So below with the bullet points are my requirements. Um, the paper must have proper grammar and spelling. Uh, the paper must have complete MLA format, which means a title. I forgot if I wrote that title. You do not need any citations. This is reflection. You must write in paragraph form, but it does not need to be academic structures. Please talk about yourself and your time in this class for the duration of the class. I hope you can touch back all the way 14 or 15 weeks ago. Maybe you can discuss reliable sources, how to do research, or even how to read slash engage with academic texts. Your paper must be three to four pages long. On uh, three complete pages, meaning that your heading does not count as writing. You do need a title. You do need. You do not need a works cited page. Uh, please answer my questions without writing the question down. Please answer the question in one paragraph. I expect you to be vivid in showing me what you're talking about. I expect specifics, depth, and real examples. No intro. No conclusion. Use I and me, but not every sentence. Um, I really don't know what else to say at this point, considering I feel that this is an incredibly straightforward project. Um, 
for any questions that you do have, I would appreciate you sending me an email as soon as you possibly can, especially considering we're not meeting today and we are most likely not meeting again on Wednesday. However, I will send you an email tomorrow confirming um, one way or the other. So this is project six. Again, it is due by the end of the semester, the literal last day, the literal last moment of the semester. Um, yeah. So that, that's that, that's project six. So um, it's gonna be on Blackboard. Just like um, I've been posting weekly, there will be weekly work with some resources, some writing, some watching, some checklists, some other stuff that I feel will be helpful for you um, as you're in your final push for the semester. Um, all right, I guess so the last, last thing to wrap this up and I'll address this in an email pretty much daily is project five is still due on the 12th. Even though I'm not there this week, it's still due on the 12th, um, which is next Monday. It needs to be submitted via Blackboard or you need to hand me a physical copy in class. We're not doing emails for that paper. So if you've had issues with Blackboard, uh, I'll see you on Monday. All right, cool. Let me know if you got any questions. Thanks, everybody.